Good morning, evening, afternoon, night, ladies and gents, and welcome back to another adventure with Sergeant Bezek as we continue our conquest of Asia Minor. Last time, we were able to fully secure Asia Minor, and we grabbed a few little other items around. What is this thing? Oh, player party. All right. So what we are going to do is we're going to start upgrading our tent or our legion. And in order to upgrade our legion next, we need to take over these uh, I have these things: tannery, hunting grounds, lumber mill. These resources. Now the observatory is something that just helps us see everything around us. Now. I want to build up the the Legion beforehand. Now, it takes almost the same thing. Both of these take a tannery in order to upgrade, but we can only upgrade really two things. We can do one, either the Armory or the Speculator Tent, and then either a bath because of farm or a stockpile due to farm because we can't secure too many resources in this region. So, what I'm going to do is... Let's actually go back to that. My plan is I'm going to go after the armory first. Not just... Not because of the armory itself, uh, but because I can then go to stockpile so I can upgrade my strength as we go along. And then, as soon as we can, I'm then going to go up to the specular... A speculator tent so we can then move on to the baths you know keep people happy and also get palisades you no know, defense okay so looks like we are yeah if I remember where you are going to be under attack so let's move our player character you now why don't we start having to move down there see if we if there's anything going on this was where, when is the attack going to be? We gotta leave these guys there for the attack. And power recovered. I'm not seeing anything. I don't know. I'm learning all this stuff with you guys. Okay. No, no, I want you to go there. I'll post assignments. Yeah, post assignment has been completed. The character. The absence until you turn to the outpost and pick them up. Oh. Okay. Let's do... I just want to do a quick check of the mountaintop ruins. Top of wooden mountain in uh, Mycia lie the ruins of some ancient structure along some pigs clean of anything that could be reused for construction. Perfect site for a secret key. Alright, so... Must assign him. You're there. So... Hmm. I like her, <coughs> but I want these other guys to go up. So I'm going to grab you. Mm. You have one armor, so I'll grab you. And then... Oh, I can only have four people. Okay, okay. You're indifferent, I understand. You're unwavering, you're devoted. Please, alright, yeah, we'll grab you. We'll have our second string guys come along. Confirm. So there's probably going to be some sort of battle here. Soldiers, let's get out of here. They came back to search more. There must be something valuable hidden here. Okay. Let me double check that I had that my button pressed. Uh, yep. The left alt button allows you to see things. And you can click. So, I mean... That's actually very good. All items collected. 
Ooh, how are you gonna get over there? Oh, you're climbing up? I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. Uh, for moving those around, it's Z to move this way, X to move this way. For camera controls. Doesn't really say it anywhere. Rod of Escalyptus? Unique staff. Oh. Okay. Now, well, let's see. Old to dismantle in here. I got plenty of assassin daggers like that. This must all. have been what the scavengers were looking for. Okay. Is that it? I'm not seeing anything else around here. If you guys see something, let me know in the comments below. But I don't see anything else. No, that's just flowers. All right. Yeah, but this was said to have been picked clean and all that, so... Hmm. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> I don't know why it says four out of six sectors pacified. I've pacified, I think, two out of six. So I don't know. I do not know at all. Oh, and while everything might seem to be just, uh... You know, I just went from the last recording to this one. I was having some issues playing due to VPN. I don't know why, but it was just preventing me from playing it for a little bit, even though I had gotten the first five episodes in. And then suddenly... <laughs> okay, so I can dismiss them. Okay. Alright, alright. Well, let's go start attacking places. If someone takes over, we can just take it back. Our palisades, eh, they're, they're decent. It is a new legion. because either way, we need Tannery. Dispatching the Legion. Mission underway for... Okay, there's the attack. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, tighter ship, send your Legion. Okay. So we've gotten that. These guys are coming back. Baby boars and their parents. Following some peculiar tracks, come across a fairly well-hidden natural niche in the forest. From within, a number of young and defenseless boars stare helplessly at you. These piglets won't feed us for long. We should wait for their parents to return. Yeah, he's right. I do agree with him. Yep. We'll wait for the mature ones to return. I say it's worth the risk if a few injuries. Uh, risk of a few injuries. You wait for the boars while it seems like they might never appear, but then, with nothing but a slight rustle of leaves to announce them, they charge at you with the fury of vengeful parents protecting their children. You do manage to kill all of them, but a few of you. Light torso injury, light torso. Torians are lightly injured in the process. Okay. Come on. Okay, they're coming back. There we go. <clears throat> Gotta be prepared for that. Hmm. There's nothing else. So... 
I want you to be at the outpost when the attack comes. Well, it's probably going to be like the other attacks, so... I don't think... Did we lose anybody? Party management... Wavering... Oh. Okay. Uh, triage. Left shows all your Praetorians in need of treatment, and Praetorian can only... One injury at a time. An injury severity determines how close the character is to dying. Risk tells you the likelihood the injury will become more severe each day that is un left untreated. Okay. Treatment information tells you how long it will take to bring the characters back to full health and how much medicine will s you will spend each day to treat the injury. Okay. Uh, choose a healer to treat your Praetorian. A healer is anyone with first aid, doctor, or physician perks. A healer only has the first aid perk. They cannot cure an injury, but only prevent it from getting worse until a doctor can look at it. If you have no one with a doctor perk on your team, you must bring your injured Praetorian back to the Legion camp for treatment. Certain injury types are too complicated, even for a doctor, and must be treated by an experienced physician. If you have no one with a physician perk on your team, you must bring a character with such injury back to the infirmary at the Legion's camp. Okay. So these guys are both doing that. Let's go back to the camp. Okay. Come on over here to our healing. Okay. Uh, Snorus. It's only six hours? That's not bad. And Bestia. 42 hours. Oh man, dude. What did you do? Yep, and we can grab more people later. Yeah, we're gonna need more people. Okay, so we're about to be attacked. Snows has been healed. Good. And power recovered. That's good. Transition? I will get a few of these other things first. Yeah, I don't want my guys out. I mean, and I do know for a fact we get a lot of time. I think they said you don't have to worry about us running out of time, which is good. Okay, shouldn't we have been attacked? <clears throat> I'm confused. Alright, I guess there was no battle. So, might as well start sending the Legion out. Okay, so it's constantly going to be attacking. Alright. We just gotta keep track. Alright, we're gonna need the Lumber Mill. Dispatch Legion. Whoa, 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 oh, crap, crap, crap. Oh no. Battle, resolve battle. Okay. Hmm. Let's see here. Oil, please. Hesitant. Let's see. Manpower retained. Your guys are all good, but you are going to give me the most loot. Subordination risk. Oh, that's fine. And confirm you. How should we position the troops? Hmm. Weak center. No, we don't want. We don't need that because it's already at zero. Stand lines, protect flank. Let's try weak center. Enemy defense. Yeah, and up their aggressive. Seed. Okay, so we've reached the first thing for loot. We want to scatter thresholds. Spread out. Player defense plus 20%. Hmm. Player aggression goes down. No. Could charge. We'll lose a decent amount, but I think we can take it. Yeah, we will charge. 
proceed. Okay, that's just a good way to fast forward. Okay, we've already reached the scatter threshold. Good. Uh, casualty survival rate goes up. All right. Enemy manpower. I mean, we don't need to worry about that. Cavalry charge. Enemy morale goes down. Risk. Center. This only goes to 10%. Mm. Let's do a cavalry charge. Alright, victory! Oh, we got to the... Did we get it? Oh well. Your legion was victorious. Choose how you wish to follow up on your victory. Could show mercy. We'd get a few people back, because we lost quite a few in that battle. Celebrate. The morale goes up. Or give chase. We don't need to worry about giving chase. Uh, morale goes down, though, so we'll just, uh, celebrate. Okay, fully destroyed. That went up a lot by for him. Good. Legion successfully defended. I received only 28 denarii, 17 slaves. That's good. Legions defeat the attackers. Click. Uh, regular salvage. Okay. Spills of War, 206. That's good. Nari. And then how about Superior? Ooh, that's a nice little sword. That's a good sword, too. And decent light armor. Okay. Looks like no one was injured. We won two out of six attacks. Oh, defenses. We only won one out of six. That's why. Okay. Okay, that was weird that I, our legion was out here, but we still defended it. Oh well. I do not understand it, but we shall do it. Actually, let's go in here. Alright, see. Let's get someone to work on recruiting. Um, nah, our party is good. Our party is good. Could we recruit? We could probably recruit. Let's see, social, architect, scout, recruiter, oh. freeloader. I think we already have someone like that. Crafty, oh. cautious. Oh. Let's see here. No physicians, though. Yeah, you're going to be good at getting items. Okay, so I don't have anyone who's social. Sign while well, assigned to the bath. Okay, Pre crafty and architect. Hmm. Yeah, but we don't... Uh, let's see. Looking at the other th parts of these guys. All the same stuff for the, these left sides. These specializations. <coughs> all stuff that we have. But I don't think we have ye one of you guys. And you've got the most, so... We will hire you. Let's not quest, no. Point yourself through them, Maesia. Temple of Apollo. Oh, okay. Whack the mole finds. So Alright, let's track this quest. With his local allies, uh, Mithridates army is far too big for the Roman legions to face. If you hope to defeat him, you must first find a way to turn Mycia and Troas against him and make them withdraw their troops from the alliance. Okay. Outpost management. We need someone in the barracks. No. Half the time. Real person. Architect. Nope. Crafty. 
Ah, it's just you that has that. So we want a second person, so... I guess we could do you. I don't want to... No. No. We'll just grab someone else. You're loyal. There you go. <clears throat> Help with recruitment. Now we need to go to the Temple of Apollo. Temple of Apollon. Upon a tall mountain peak stands a grand temple devoted to the Greek god of healing, knowledge, music, and arts. I thought Hermes was the god of healing. I was pretty sure it was Hermes, because he's the one with the staff with the two snakes on it, and that's where we get our medical stuff. I didn't think it was Apollo. Anyway, the temple is of utmost cultural importance to the region of Mycia. Alright, so I definitely have to show up. You can't do it. Uh, Calidia. Let's get you. Um, Lucius. And then we should grab someone who can fight. So either Harius or Marcus. Marcus, you actually have some armor, so confirm. Beautiful. Well, yeah, that's Hermes right there with the helmet. So why was it saying Apollon? <laughs> Good day to you, my friend. May I interest you in some finely crafted metalwork by local artisans? My name is Bezex, and priest, uh, yeah. What may I call you? I am called Voithos. Your name Voithos. marks you as a person of great distinction. It is my honor to meet you. Are you a smith or a priest? Correct. <laughs> I am both. A priest of Ephistus, the god of carpenters, craftsmen, artisans, and indeed smiths. It is my view that in order to pay full and proper tribute to Ephistus Clitotechnes, one must practice at least one of his crafts. I endeavor to practice them all. If you wish Hephaestus, uh, what are you doing at the Temple of Apollo? Though I have dedicated myself to the lame one, I both love and admire Apollon. Both are gods of creation, of art and beauty. There is no mm -hmm. temple here to Ephaestus, but his works are carried out every day to the benefit of everyone. You said you sell items crafted by local artisans, not of your own creation? I would not sell anything that I create. My hands and all that they make belong to Ephesus. I give it away freely to those in great need. But in the mercantile arts, I have found a way to sustain myself, as all men must do. Yes. Some of these items were donated to me, others I have purchased in order to resell. What kind of items do you sell? Finely wrought jewelry, sturdy tools, sharp weapons, items of pride and importance. Would you like to take a look? Do you sell materials for crafting weapons? I would be thrilled to part with some of my materials. It is my duty and my pleasure to promote the art of smithing and other crafts. I'm always looking for tools to replace my pila. Of tools, I have plenty. How many do you need? Okay, so let's do... Oh, that's expensive. All right, so let's just do... Two sets of ten. Yeah. I'm in the market for a well-weighted blade. I can certainly provide that. You will not be disappointed in the quality of my items. Okay. Now we'll do one. Oh, two hundred. All right, yeah, just one. Uh, pay 300 denarii, teach me how to use these blades you've sold me. Why not? We got plenty of denarii, we got time. As you wish. Uh, received item schematics, throwing knives, okay. That's good, that's good. Alright, let's keep going, this is Alexios. Good day to you, honored Romans. Have you need of food or medicine? 
I don't think I want to do that. What is your name? I am Alexius. If I cured meats and medicinal herbs from the villages of Mysia and sell them here under the gaze of Apollon Phoebus. Do you sell wine? I have no wine, I'm afraid. But if you ever find yourself in our neighboring region of Troas, there is a very good vintner in a village on the coast. Her name is Callis. I purchased from her in the past. Let's see what you're selling. Okay. So my resources, I got 32 slaves. So they've got an abundant amount of slaves. Okay. They don't have a scarce is that. Rations, 150. So... All right, how about we do one thing, some medicine, for some rations, right? One to two. Let's just do 13. <coughs> All right. Let's go up here. Doesn't show us anything. Who is this? Crap, I don't know which Greek god is the one. With wings of... I don't know. Pickers. Roman! You run with the man crusher, do you not? I hear he was seen in your company. Are you talking about Bestia Tabat? Bestia Tabat? I don't know who that is. The man crusher's name was Cineros. Oh! We have unfinished business. Bring him to me. I shall wait here. Oh, that man. was strange. Man Crusher. Okay. Ooh, I like it. We're getting some character stuff. Alright, this stuff stays visible. That's good. Kind of wish I could zoom out a little bit more. They say in Persia there's only one god. Nonsense. What happened to all the other gods, then? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that one god ate them all. Ate them? That's bizarre. Why would one of their gods eat the others? Maybe he was hungry, I don't know. Don't ask me, I'm not Persian. Why did you even bring this up? I just thought it was interesting. Anyway, I'm hungry. Let's find something to eat. Wait a minute. Do they not know their own Greek things? Because if I remember correctly... Uh, Zeus's parents. He's been sick for oh, two days ate him. now. The healer is always busy when I come. Okay, that's just kind of weird. Oh, there's a fire. So that's if I wanted to go up that way. Okay. Oh, that's a ladder to get up there. Because they're doing construction on it. Okay. It turns out there was a snake in the basket. I only realized after it bit me. How did you survive? I don't know. Maybe the snake wasn't venomous. Nonsense. All snakes are venomous. <laughs> but perhaps you are immune to all forms of poison. Like the king of Pontus. Ah. That's just a rumor. No one can survive a snake's venom. Well, you did. Oh, this stuff's good. This is some good stuff. Actually, no, no, you guys come over here. Hmm, I want to talk to really over here. We're just exploring a little bit, want to see everything. <coughs> There's nothing down there. So far, nothing to grab. Keeping my eyes out, though, you gotta. Might as well acquaint ourselves with this guy, and then probably see if we can go stop the fire. Roman officer at my temple. Mm -hmm. 
I am Theophilus, High Priest of Apollon and ruler of Musia. Mm. It's foolish of you to come here considering that we are at war. But I will not spill your blood in front of Apollon Alexikakos. Okay. Good, it would be a shame if my men and I had to kill you in front of your own temple. Unrefined intimidation. <laughs> Needless violence. Arrogant machismo. Indeed, you embody all the traits of a Roman. Your legion has unlawfully occupied Lesbos. You must live at once, or be destroyed by King Mithridates. Ah. <sighs> Let's see, which one do we want? Which one? A traitorous rebel presumes to tell a legatus of Rome what is lawful and what is not. Asia Minor is under Roman governance. Uh, eh, let's go with the bottom one. We are not occupiers, we are My liberators. Predecessor, Praegonius Mauro, was an arrogant optimus who cared not one iota for the wishes of his people. You dog-fucking Romans Ooh. think you can just sit in your fancy villas and decree how people should live their lives hundreds of leagues away. Well, I say enough. With the support of Pontus, I have cast off the tyranny of Rome and seated that sniveling sycophant Maro, and the people love me for it. <clears throat> they love me three that is megas. Which one do we want? Uh, no, this one... Uh, I guess maybe number one, withdraw your support from Mithridates and we will instate a new local governor of Mysia. We will even consider letting you live. Never. Musia owes everything oh. to Pontus. Our oaths of fealty to the Alliance will never be broken. Oh no. Alright, since... Seems we have nothing so left to discuss. So it seems. Ah, oh, I failed. Leave the Temple of Apollo. So sad. Is there some water or something we can get? Have you sacrificed anything today? Not yet. Ah, you're sacrificing nothing. How long do I have to keep doing this? Until the gods forgive. Help! Anyone! Thank the gods you are here. You, you must help us! The temple is burning! If I'm to risk my health and that of my people for your temple, it is only fair that we be compensated. Don't worry, though, it'll be much cheaper for you to pay us and build a whole new temple. Typical greedy Romans! Fine. Save our temple and we will pay you. Look! A barrel of water! By the construction! Let's use it to put out the fire before it spreads! Earl of Water? Where? Water jugs, okay. Uh, reduce the fire f to zero hexes to extinguish it. Eighteen hexes must be put out. Prevent the fire from consuming the temple. Okay. Uh, let you go over here. Let's get started. You. Pick up a water jug, 12 remaining. Now, get over here. You'll pick up a water jug. Alright, range, 8 hexes. Area of effect. Okay. That helps a lot. Now, how about you? Good. Yeah, let's try to prevent it from getting to the temple itself. Okay. I could have done better with that talking. Oh well. Live and learn, right?
That does add to replayability, though, with this game, and I like. Pick up the water jug. Okay, this is pretty easy. But also sort of teaches the mechanics of that, so. There we go. Let's end this turn. Pick up the water jug. Man, you got some movement with you. Oh, you cannot see. Okay. Okay. Water jug. Yeah, good thing we didn't. Uh, to you. Inspire. Broke set. No. As far as the action port and ally has spent theirs, or effects. Flies rally dally that. You. Oh, you can get all that. You can actually get all that too. Hmm. Let's first see what, how far you can go. You won't be able to go too far. Okay, you have one more. Okay. So, let's put this area out so we don't have to worry about it. And then you... Yeah, let's get this area under control. There we go. Alright, you return. You... So you get over here. Uh, that's where I wanted to go. Right there. And then move back as far as you can. You've got nothing, so pick up a water jug. And you... So pick up another water jug. You get over here. Nope. You've got no movement. You've got water and movement. Okay. We have contained the water. Okay. Not bad, so okay. Priest of oh, Holland. Thank you. If it weren't for you, our temple would be ashes now. Why would anyone set a temple on fire? They believe the temple is built on an old halfway to Hades. And that's a reason to burn it down? According to some, the temple is blocking the way to Hades and keeping the dead from reaching their independent destination. Well, I know in Age of, M uh, Age of Mythology, if you went with the Greek god Apollo at the end, you did get a temple through Hades. I don't know. I don't know. What was happening there? Somebody set the temple on fire. Not all of the locals are fond of Apollo. Do we want to do that? now? we'll just do two, just... Happy to be of help. A selfless act warrants a reward. Please, take this.
Okay. Received item water jug, item schematic, some experience. Someone's leveled up, unspent skill points. Okay, lots of people leveled up. Okay. That's good. And now we need to leave just to come back right away. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Who are you? Zenobia. You weren't someone I could talk to before. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go up here. Go up here. There's more people to talk with. I never realized. Now, actually, where are my guys? Oh, here they are. Trying to figure out where they are. <laughs> easy to get, uh, easy to lose your people. If you're not paying close attention. Probably should have tried to put out the fire first. No. It is unusual to see a Roman soldier in these times. Are we not at war with Rome? Uh, I'll just introduce myself and say pleased to meet you. I am honored to meet you. My name is Rianus. I am a disciple of Theophilus. Where are you from? Why do you ask? Uh, your dialect sounds familiar. Perhaps you've passed through my home region, but I should be very surprised if so. I hail from a small village in the mountains, a day's travel east of Abramidion. I have a great deal of family there. It is fortunate that Apollon gifted me a keen mind, or I would be there still. For my Have a pleasant day, disciple. Okay. Beautiful. Just beautiful all over the place. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, that's why we check around. Stuff like that. Oh, there's a pickaxe there I can interact with. And is that a... No, no, that's just where they're gonna... Step down to. <laughs> Schematic caltrops. Ooh, that's good. Decent Gladius. Good salvage. Ooh. Take all. Uh, where was it? It should be down here. Down here. Get that pickaxe. I don't know why we want the pickaxe, but we're getting the pickaxe. Come on, come on. Pickaxe, it's a worn tool. Oh, it's a tool! Okay. That's interesting. But enough of that. Time to go. Need to come back real quick. Oh, no, 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 We need to talk with somebody here. Please, I must speak to you. Uh, Zenobia. Thank you for stopping me. You are the Stratigos of a Roman Legion, are you not? I saw you talking with the Oculus. Uh, okay. Uh, let's just let's let's be nice to the old lady, to the nice lady. And my who name is Zenobia. I am the widow of Preconius Maro, the mm. rightful governor of Nusia, whom the Oculus murdered. I'm sorry for your loss. What can I do for you? I beseech you to help me exact my revenge upon Theopolis. I have many allies still among the powerful people of Musia. If you will help me kill Theopolis, in return, I promise to break the alliance with Pontus. 
You're asking me to assassinate him. Well, I find my work distasteful. But yes, in essence. Okay. I'm okay with this. Do you have a plan? I do not. Violence is not my strength. I have no talent for it. That is why I need your help. Uh, do you have access to his food? Perhaps I can procure some poison? Theopilus knows me and she knows that I resent him. But many of the priests here dine on him. Perhaps one of them can be tricked or threatened to help you? <coughs> hmm. Okay. Might I simply attack him here in the temple? You cannot be seen to strike first. If the people turn against us, I will not be able to regain control. If you can provoke him to attack you, so you can be seen to kill him in self-defense, you might get away with it. How would you know the man? Does he have any sore spots we might exploit? Perhaps someone here in his temple can give you what you need. Can you think of a way to lure him to a secluded location? He has such meetings occasionally, as any politician does. Mm. It might be possible to trick him somehow into thinking King Mithridates wants a meeting in secret. If he has a way to communicate with the forces of Pontus, we could always try our hand at a little forgery. I'll Thank see what I can you, do. Gatti. My husband was a loyal servant of Rome. He wasn't perfect but he cared deeply for his people. He did not deserve to be cut open in the night like cattle. Okay. Alright. So, we're gonna quickly go out. Find a poison. Where would I go to find a poison? Turn to the map. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let's go back. Here. Cineros. I like having you around for the talking. And let's get you as well. I don't think we're going to do any fighting during this part. I don't think. I don't know, though. You never know. Heck, last time we fought with jugs of water. Hmm. Get down here and talk with Pegris. Pegris? I don't know. The man crusher. At last, we meet. It's been a long time since I've heard that name. Ooh, ooh. Wait, what? Man crusher? Are you serious? That's a euphemism, surely? I'm afraid <laughs> not. And nothing good ever came out of that name. I greet you, young man. I was indeed known as the Man Crusher of Alicarnassus. But my past life is a distant memory now. Tell your master I don't fight for sport anymore. Caesar, I'm not here to hire you. I'm here for vengeance. Oh no. I have so many questions. Yes! Slow down and tell me who you are. Pigress, son of Diocles, son of Diodorus, spear thrower and Pancration athlete. Champion, of course. Diodorus, you are his grandchild. Is he, Is he still alive? Grief has turned him into a husk of the man he once was, but he is indeed still alive. Cheater! Sorry for all that noise, my desk is sort of slowly falling apart. I've ordered a new one. It should... I should have it within the week, so I do apologize. I used to be a wrestler. I was pretty good at it, too. I represented my hometown, Alicarnassus, in the Olympic Games. With honor, mostly. Honor? What do you know of honor? It is because of you my grandfather suffers now. Really? Before I was sold as a servus, I was the champion of my people, adored and envied by many. Obviously no one was bold enough to challenge me. 
especially when it came to Pancrazion. Until my grandfather faced you, you had to cheat in order to preserve your fame and fortune. What is Pancrazion? It is a kind of wrestling, very popular around Aigaiumari, one of the defining competitions in our Olympiad. Seek vengeance, Pigris? The man crusher of Halicarnassus was going to face my grandfather in the games. Everyone knew he'd lose, for the Adorus was the greatest wrestler Cos has ever produced. He was formidable. And frankly, for the first time in my life, I was afraid of losing. They sent me to the games and told me, come back with the trophy, or do not come back at all. Well, since cheated and all that. <clears throat> I'm thinking it's the second one. I guess uh, defeated you, so what's the problem? He could not defeat me. Oh. I didn't even face it. I stole the trophy. What? You did what? I certainly didn't see this coming. Cinerus is a thief, huh? <laughs> oh, I man. reject that characterization of me. I've stolen only once. That hardly constitutes a habit. You should know, young man. As a result of my actions, Halicarnassus was expelled from the Union. I have paid for my crimes. I am told you were exiled and sold as a service. That still doesn't satisfy my grandfather's honor. The trophy belongs to my family. Give it back! That should be easy. Give him the trophy and let us be on our way. Yeah, I mean... This event was a lifetime ago. Even if the trophy were still in Adicarnassus, my exile remains in place. They wouldn't let me in. Makes sense. Perhaps you and his grandfather should fight again to settle the score. I, Pigres, accept this challenge in my grandfather's name. He is a frail old man who can barely lift his finger now. But you can accept me as an extension of his will. Wait. Pigris is a professional wrestler in his prime. Cinerus, however formidable, is an old man. He doesn't stand a chance against Pigris. It's not fair. It's not. You're right, Kenturio, but what is? Perhaps this is how it's supposed to be. This is how I finally pay for my crimes. It doesn't even come close to the level of unfairness achieved by your theft. You stole my grandfather's title and glory. Time to pay! I see your point. And in hindsight, I think I have deserved this. Hmm. Come on, Pigris. Let us see if you're capable of supporting your words with your actions. Alright. Sure, I've been the rest waiting of for this for a long time. Get up, old man! Show me if there's still anything left of the Man Crusher in you! Oh, come on. Your grandfather has trained you well. I think he's... I mean... Ooh, this is just kind of hard to watch. Time is a harsh mistress, it seems. It has left you shriveled and defenseless. What will that say about oh. you? <laughs> I felt that in my old bones, that's for sure. But I'm not done yet. Ooh. Come on. Oh! Oh, that's... My arm. You broke my arm. No, that's... that's enough. Leave him be. The rest of victory is yours. Help me stand. You have been rightfully defeated, Cineros, the man-crusher. Do not show your face on this soil again. <clears throat> I gained some experience. Level up. Alright, cheer on the wrestling match. There was not much cheering. Teet. Uh, yeah. Some, something about that. How do I find... All right, let's go to outpost management. We need healing. Seventy eight hours. That's pretty quick for a arm injury. 
but okay, okay. Uh, let's quickly just go through some of these skills. One unused skill point. All right, I wonder what the max level is. We'll find out eventually. So you're primarily... Hmm, Let's see, do I want maximum health? Defending self, uh, full shield strength. Hmm. Uh, maximum health is good, but I want to try and keep moving along in this line. And that gives me new ability. It's good. You. Okay. Well, let's just do Fortress. It's a passive skill. Now we can move on to the next area of it. Protect. Shake it off. Beginning your turn, automatically cure one negative status effect currently affecting you. That's actually pretty good. What is that? Okay. Hmm. Uh, range attacks against adjacent characters. I don't want people that close, though. Uh, upgrade the angle of the entropic cones increased 160 degrees. Right now it's at 120. That's still pretty big. But let's get a new skill of rebuke. Money from you requires empty hex behind the target. Alright, double the damage dealt. Okay. This is easy to tell. You... 20% more health. Sure. Okay, so once a certain number overall has been used in the tree, it goes... you get the next tier. Yeah. Revive. Ooh, that's something we need. Fast. Then we grant one stack of Bloodthirsty. Hmm. Max focus at the beginning of combat, next upgrades 30. Uh, let's do Bloodthirsty. Because he is very bloodthirsty. Uh, that's everybody. Inventory, whoa. Ah, uh, that's. I don't even know why we have the pickaxe, okay. Anyway, I will look at all that stuff and deal with that before the next one. Go ahead and conquer. Side quest, Olympian. Alright. Yeah. Tighter ship. Send your legion to capture a lumber mill. Hmm. Oh, I need a lumber mill. Okay. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you for watching this. If you have... What is this? Well, we'll talk with him in a minute, because I don't know why you're there. If you like this content, make sure to leave a like, leave a rumble, leave a fiery thing, leave us something to let myself and others know that this content is enjoyed. Make sure to leave comments in the comments section below of the good, the bad, the ugly. I can take the criticism. What do you think of what's going on? I do apologize for the noises of my desk. Uh, hopefully, uh, probably for you guys, it'll be about three to five episodes where you might hear that occasionally before I get the new one in, put up, and everything, because I'll have to reorganize a little gaming room and all that. And last but not least, if you want to stay up to date on all the Expeditions Rome or whatever else I'm playing at the moment, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Until next time, stay safe.